It's legitimately a frustrating thing to eat. See? Did you just see that piece of salad frog leap like it was alive? That's what you deal with with salads. It's not our fault that we eat the bullshit. It's Mukbang's fault. Ugh. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, oh yes, oh yes, it's the hut and it's a gut feeling baby. Welcome to another episode of me eating one of my favorite things on the planet. It is the pizza, it is the hut. It just hit the door, it's piping hot, I'm ready to hit it. I'm so incredibly hungry, incredibly hungry. That's how incredibly hungry I am, incredibly hungry. I'm gonna pop into it. It's a, uh, it's a meal prize pack. Pop into it real quick, it is a extra cheese. Pan crust, pepperoni west, light sauce. That's how I do it around these parts, light sauce. And we're gonna have to pop it out of its chamber and get it here and get it ready to go in here, okay? For all y'all that don't know, break down the box. Live. That's a mukbangers pro move. Okay, so when I said I got a combo pack, that's what I mean. I got a Caesar salad, I already mixed it all up. Caesar salads or salads in general are a mukbangers nightmare. Even though I love salad, it does make videos very, very difficult. I also, with this, came five wangs, boneless wangs. These are not wings at all. They're just boneless chicken bites. So I don't know why I'm saying wings, but those are honey barbecue. You take a look, you enjoy it. Definitely got to get those out, put them around the table somewhere. Uh, maybe we'll just sporadically place them on the right here. Oh my God, you guys, that's looking so good. I'm fired up for this because The Hut is like my favorite hit. You guys know this about me probably, I would imagine. The Hut is my favorite hit. I love Caesar salads. I love chicken. I love pizza and I love way too many sauces, by the way, by the by. I've got a four pack of sauces here. I got a four pack of sauces here, uh, ranch, sour cream, barbecue, and hot sauce, and I'm so ready just to get into this situation right now. This is a whole last meal, ready to be a thing. I gotta dive into the ideal piece, the corner slice, the cornerstone of everybody's life. Hit it with the sour cream, get a thumbnail, and break you off with that first perfect bite. Stupid. Stupid good. I'm lost for words. There's no idea. It's so magical. Barbecue. That's the most magical. Pizza Hut is such a different animal. Okay, I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to get crazy right now. And I'm going to do something unorthodox that maybe you've never seen. And I've never done it. We are venturing into new territory together. So take my hand. Come with me. And let's do some psycho pizza creationism together. You and I. Hello. How are you? Come for the ride. Okay. Well, as y'all know. I got some Caesar salad. Had to hit it naked and afraid one time. Okay. But now what we're going to do, and this is definitely a shout out to my ex-girlfriend. She loved, first of all, Pizza Hut and everything else, but also... Caesar salad and pizza together in a bite. She introduced me to this. So shout out to her. Also, I am going to take it to the level of 
one of these. You know what? I'll just put it in like that. I don't even have to rip it out. One of these chicken bites. The next thing is, what sauce? How about a little more of the honey barbecue? Before I even bite into that, I just need you to crave it. I am going to hit it with a dab of ranch. Just a dab. And take this beautiful golden love and make that's disappointing a Caesar salad chicken pizza sandwich I feel like nom nom sammy boy right now if you don't know who he is he is the king of insane food combo creations and this feels like something he would definitely make Savage. And I'm into it. I just had two croutons attack me and go flying to the floor. a different level I've never taken it to with Pizza Hut but I'm glad I did one time in my life because that was authentically some life changing shit real spit alright I gotta try one of these chicken pieces just by itself no pizza sandwich with some ranch salad on its own I promise you this ask any mukbanger salads are a nightmare they're just not conducive to mukbangs I love salad but it's just, it's too finicky. It's too many moving parts. It doesn't fit on the board. It's not easily eatable. Like a piece of pizza or a piece of chicken.
There's just too many things going on. It's messy. It's annoying. But I love it. So, don't get mad at your mukbangs for not having a salad. First, it doesn't sell. People don't want to see it. And second, it's legitimately a frustrating thing to eat. See? Did you just see that piece of salad frog leap like it was alive? You know what I mean? That's what you deal with the salads. So, it's not our fault that we eat the bullshit. It's Mukbang's fault. Okay? Uh, regarding salad and pizza, there's one thing I'll tell you for certain and for free is that it's a traumatic memory for me, but every time I hear pizza and salad together in the same sentence, I think of my first job at Eastside Mario's in Toronto. Literally one of the most, the busiest Eastside Mario's in all of probably North America, to be honest with you, because it was located right by the Rogers Center. Which, ironically, I would later quit that job to go work at the Rogers Center. And that Rogers Center job actually fucking, like, saved my life. <laughs> but also because of the ridiculously easy money that I made there fueled a lot of terrible decisions and a lot of rough nights. But anybody in my audience, it's possible that you may have worked at Eastside Mario's. And if it was a busy one, and you worked in the kitchen, you know the trauma of being on like pizza salad or even just in the kitchen in general. It's crazy. I worked in a three to 400 seat restaurant. It's gonna be nuts regardless. But to be on pizza salad, imagine a restaurant being full of three to 400 people and you're one man at a salad station and one of the draws of this Italian restaurant is pepperoncinis unlimited comes with your meal unlimited all you can eat garden salad Caesar salad and bread called home loaf it's like garlic bread I worked every station in my duration. I'm a rapper and I don't even know it. I am actually kind of a rapper. If you go down to my description of the comments, you'll see my most recent song posted there. But Back to working at Eastside Mario's. Imagine that. It was insanity. Soul crushing. Overwhelming. Insanity. Literally one guy on a salad station to serve a restaurant full of three to four hundred people. Servers constantly coming to get salads these just tossed together refillable shitty fucking salads although they are delicious but there's no quality they just toss them together so fast pure insanity i worked every single station there from pizza salad uh over to convection fry grill and fucking saute and they were all psycho positions to be honest each had its own unique kill yourself terribleness to it. 
I started on convection, which is like, <clears throat> convection means oven. So you had a convection oven. So you would, you would make nachos, you would make sandwiches, paninis. Uh, you would make like, like a lot of apps. But you're also responsible for home loaf. And home loaf is this garlic bread like this. Looks like a mini football. And that's what everybody gets at the start of their meal. So you got to be super cognizant of like having home loaf on the go at all times. I just remember being so deep in the shits and uh let's catch in term when you're in the shits in the weeds just being so deep in the shits with orders and just servers like coming over the ledge just being like home loaf where's home loaf i need more home loaf <laughs> and you just be like if i hear the word home loaf one more fucking time i'm gonna go into the back grab as many knives as I can find and murder every single fucking person in this restaurant. <laughs> like if I legit hear home loaf one more time, I'm either quitting, killing myself, or going postal. It's that simple. Shut the up about home loaf. Insane. I had so many shifts there where I was like an opener, I'd go in at like 11 o'clock get the line set up we'd have a psycho rush at lunch I'd be there over dinner service because it's like an 11 to 8 or whatever like an 8 9 hour shift I'd be over the dinner service I'm supposed to be done at you know 7 8 o'clock whatever but we were always like somebody called in or quit like always short on staff and then it's like well if you want to keep your job you have to stay here for 15 16 hours like they would hit you with that and i'm like what do you mean like i fulfilled my shift they're like well we're short and we need the help i'm like yeah but my shift is my shift like what that's what i'm scheduled if i leave right now you're gonna fire me they're like they would always like tote that over your head and i'd be like what so i'd stay over dinner service and then we get crushed again and again and again over and over for like on certain you know there'd be like conventions and games and it's Toronto. It's nuts. There's millions of people. We just get murdered. Constantly. And eventually I'd just look at the clock and be like, wow, I've been here 15 hours and this isn't stopping. And it's like, when do I get to leave? And I used to like, because I was like, you know, young and so desperate to pay rent and shit. And I couldn't lose my job. You know what I mean? So... I would literally go to the bathroom and have like a meltdown. I would like cry for a bit, like a frustration cry more than anything. And then I get back to it. I just go work. I hate my fucking life. Uh, and that pretty much right there was the, was, I would work shitty jobs for, for a lot longer after that. But that was the point in which I realized, like, I don't want to fucking take answers from anybody. I don't want to work for anybody. I don't want anybody to threaten me with employment. I don't want anybody to threaten to fire me. Like, I just knew at that point, I'm like, this is not, this isn't it. <laughs> this is not the ticket. I need to think for myself. I need to find a way out of this shit. Because I, this is, this is not chill. It is not. It's not even ethical. It's not even human. Like, just being like threatened to get fired, spending 16 hours in the shits, getting paid like shit for a megacorp. Ha 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 ha. Laughable. Laughable. But hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And in that, in that moment, I had to do what I had to do. So I couldn't survive without it. So. And I didn't want to lose my job now. I'm sure if I hit the labor board up and was like, yo, they're threatening to fire me over some shit and like I, I fulfilled my shift, they were probably getting shit. But I was young, dumb, naive, and just didn't know any better. So, and, it, and that's a hard battle to fight too, like going to the labor board and just bleh, all that shit. That's a fucking, it's a nightmare. I'd rather just stay the eight hours and make more money, I guess, but be burnt out. 
All right, I'm full as balls. I don't really understand what this video was, but it was something. It was all over the zone. I'm rough. I'm very hot and shit, and I don't even know what's going on with my life. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true, and don't work for the fucking man.